Welcome to the Caestus Metallican, an Arc Mechanicus class battleship. This class of ship is one of the largest in the Imperium and is only afforded to the Adeptus Mechanicus. Here, you'll be able to customize your tech priests and prepare for the missions ahead. You can select missions from the character portraits on the left of the screen. Before we go on a mission, we should expect and equip our tech priests. Head over to the Cohort tab. Welcome to the Cohort Quarters. Here you can see all the available tech priests and troops units currently unlocked. Troop units are shown at the top of the screen. Here you can see what skills each troop has available and all statistics for each unit. The tech priests are shown in the bottom six slots. Uh, left mouse button, a tech priest to be in customization. Okay, we don't really have any... Well, we have... Do we only have one servitor? Because if we had more, of these would all be filled, right? Okay, we got the customization screen. Stage weapons, body augments, backpack upgrades, and more. Backpack upgrades. You can upgrade your tech priest. Head to the disciplines button near the tech priest portrait now. Oh no. <laughs> There's so much. What happens if we lost? Could we lose on that mission? I wonder. Okay, we use Blackstone for these upgrades. Each Blizzman is focused on a different playstyle. Each select one of the skills from one of the six trees now. So we got Explorator. We got Secutor. Tech Exilium. Lex Mechanic. Eng Engine Seer. <laughs> and Dominus. Uh, okay. So Dominus is checking out the, the battle. Engine Seers. I guess are the healers. Lex Mechanicus. Get more de data and whatever it looks like. Dex Auxilium. Um, I don't really know what that does. Zekitor. Multiply the efficiency of Skatari. An explorador. Okay, so I guess let's let's figure out what these are actually. We got new spheric scan, reveal the enemy statistics while in melee range. That could be helpful. We have uh troop scan, plus one damage, plus four movement, and plus fifteen critical chance. Seems pretty good. Your next weapon's attack condition cost is reduced by two cognition points. That's pretty good considering we have like a four cognition point uh, cost on some things. So that could make them free. All right, that could make our two two cost free. There ain't one cognition point at the beginning of the unit's turn if the gauge is empty. That's good, but uh, we'd, we'd have to constantly be low, you know. Cleansing anointments. Activate cleanse the target of any negative effects. Passive negate effects last. Negative effects last one last turn. Fair enough. And we get plus four range for ranged weapons. Who are you again? What weapons do you have? Um, out of these, I don't know, like, do I have to use cognitive points for these skills, or are these just passives? So this is a servo skull skill, so I'm assuming that means I have to use it with this skill? And then I would get, so it'd be one cognitive point each? What should I would say? This cogn cognition freedom seems really good. A free attack, especially on the one where the guy has a ranged weapon, would be pretty good. It also doesn't say how much how much these are. 
I thought it, these cost blackstone, but it doesn't say how much they would be. Maybe I have to click on them, but I don't really want to do that yet. Let's get those cognitive... Oh, okay, there we go. In order to upgrade, you must have enough blackstone. When you rank up, you'll gain augment slots, skills, and body parts. Body parts, huh? Uh, okay. So it costs about half of our blackstone. Increase augment capacity. And we get this skill. Okay, I need to figure out who has what. Wait, stop. <laughs> You have enough augment capacity to equip this tech base with a weapon. You can see the capacity for items within the tooltip. Drag a weapon onto a slot using left mouse button. Uh, okay. What? <laughs> okay, here we go. Um... Oh, this reveals our statistics. That's good. I can get the gun or not. Where where is their original weapons? Was that just for the tutorial? I don't want them to both have guns because you can't use these in melee range, and I, I need them to. I need one range, one not. I think would be the good idea. So we'll go with Magos with the... Oh, they're both Magos. Did Jeremiah become... graduate from being an apprentice to a Magos? Good for you, guy. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll let uh, Jeremiah be our ranged dude. So then, let's upgrade him. And we'll enhance his weapon range. Plus four range is not significant, so hopefully that'll be good. Having a diverse team is advised, however, the choice is all yours. Yep. Okay, that was good. Now he's ranked two, I guess. Can I? Okay. Now he's both. So much for <laughs> so much for that. Okay. I still have enough to upgrade this guy, so let's get him going. Um, he's gonna be my tank, I suppose. So, I want the scan. Is this free? Is this a passive? Like, if this was a passive, that that's pretty fine. If I have to pay for this with the cognitive points, this is pretty bad. I'm assuming it's passive because I could just use a servo skull and that costs one cognition point. It has range on it. Um, he, this is why I'm confused because like this skill seems really good. Your unit gains damage, uh, it has range, and then also gains a crit chance. But I'm guessing that's only the servitors and not actually my, my tech priests. Alright, we'll just get this. Alright. 
Good to go. We're at a Blackstone, more or less. Okay, so I, I'm, I'm thinking this is similar to like StarCraft, where I can choose which one I go to for a particular reward. So we have Winds of Change. Uh, we have to deploy a Sensor Servitor and cleanse a tomb. We get an Arc Pistol, which will have a multi-attack, it looks like. That's pretty cool. And we have Omnispecs. Target has a 50% chance to miss you and with its attacks for one round. Cool. Uh, this one has the macro stepper. Okay, this is the one of the range weapons one of them had. Ooh, a healing. I kind of want the healing. <laughs> the healing seems like it would be a good idea. All right, let's do this. I want the healing. The killing jaw. Tech Inquisitor Skibola wishes to begin her research into the secrets of the Thankrons and has asked for specimens of the enemy to be gathered from the tomb of Ekropis. Let's go. We're gonna get some samples. Here you choose which tech race or troops to take on a mission. Use left mouse button to add to Arvis lighter transport to remove. Bubbles for the 12 months? The whole year. Thank you so much for all the support you've been giving me, I appreciate it. We got a whole year. I think you are definitely our first year. At least that I've noticed, so thanks, Bubbles. I really appreciate it. Whole year? We've been doing this a year? Oh, geez. <laughs> We've been doing this for more than a year. I, I hadn't realized, actually. Easy. But how are you doing? Uh, I will definitely need to add some hype. Thank you so much. Oh, ignore the stare at the end. <laughs> that was a misclick. Well, thank you. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I, I guess that now I need to get my 12 year badge going. Guess you're not going to use it ever because you got that fancy founder badge. But uh, now that I guess people are getting to that that milestone, I guess I could start using that or get that ready. Uh, the game's going pretty good. We just finished the tutorial. It was like an hour long because I'm slow, I guess. But now we're into this proper. Um, so far, been kind of scary. We almost lost the tutorial. <laughs> so, uh, well, this, is, this is something. We're about to go into our first mission. Uh, it's very similar to, it's just a tactics game. And this outside area seems to be like StarCraft, if you've ever played that, where, um, you know, you have choices between where you want, where you can go, and um, you'll get certain outcomes, you'll get certain uh, rewards for doing so. Let's get both of our tech priests out there. These guys are free? They're free. So I guess there's no reason not to bring them out. Then we have a canticle. Store 5 HP on the random on the unit. I don't have any more. So that sounds good. Oh, I don't, I can't use a canticle, I guess. That kind of sucks. Well, technically I might have brought it on myself because I kind of did the, uh, I, the above and beyond thing where I kind of wanted to see if I can get more information. Um, whereas I think I could have just left. But then they made me survive for like six rounds because the enemy was overpowered and 
he could move very far and it was kind of scary. But then for whatever reason on the turn that he might have been able to reach me, he just didn't do anything. So I don't know if that was that's scripted plan where he d he doesn't actually kill you, but who knows? He has like a he had a move range of ten, but then uh, I think I would have been safe if he actually moved, but I, I can't know for certain anymore because he just didn't move that turn for whatever reason. Uh, there's also a lot of words that I'm having trouble saying because they like all these very strange words. <laughs> but Tech Inquisitor Scavola, I asked you on this mission because of your experience and with, your, with surveying alien artifacts and organisms. So the heretics of Stygis the Eighth can plunder this world for its secrets. Your assertion is false. If objection concerns offense, go to a different mission. How many go-tos do you have, Scavola? You need to work on your programming. And leave you free to do as you will? A dereliction of logic, Scavola. So, VX is our, is our, uh, like, extremist by the book guy who just quotes scripture all of the time. Scavola is our strange person who doesn't know English. <laughs> and then, uh, that's as far as I've gone so far. Uh, no, Scavola is a woman, apparently. So that the lore right now is that we're all Martians and we were originally humans, but then we gave up our humanity in search of machines because machines are better, apparently. Um, and then along the way, we've tried to do things and there's some sort of God Emperor and uh, Omnimaziah something or other. I'm still learning. Uh, the planet we're on right now is Silva Tenebris, and we're trying to get through it. Right now, there's a Necron uprising that they're all awakening, so I have a time limit um, before we get overwhelmed. But we'll see. Logic of enthusiasm eludes me, Tech Inquisitor. My emotional cores return only pearl to our mission, personnel, and the threat of the Awakening Xenos. Therefore, I am on to this mission. My role is to gather intelligence, seek truth, return to human comprehension. Dictates uh, of Mars retrieval, gather knowledge for the... It's hard to read Skabola. <laughs> and how are you to go about that, Skabola? Field operations and personnel is suboptimal. Sending tech priests instead is optimal. First objective, gather field specimens for study. Location, Stone of Acropis. Commence immediately. Alright, I guess we're going. Given the reports from the Tomb of Acropis, there should be plenty of samples in there for you to collect mangoes, of course, but first you have to kill them. My talent is dissection after the fact. I leave the location and identification execution to your tech priest, Magos. I trust this will be worth the effort, Scavola. There are no more labor servitors we are risking in these tombs. These are men and women. Follow the devotees of the cult Mechanicus. A green mag. Other point raised. Ensure human corpses are returned as well. Opportunity to study the effect of Necron technology on human flesh. So another thing is that I guess like when these guys turned from human to machines, they were able to choose how they did so, like to the extent of what they they could give up. Um, because they they mentioned like, oh, I kept my fear because I felt felt that would be useful. Um. And so on and so forth. So I guess Kabula might have just gone a little too far or a little more than the others. Okay, so we got exclamation points. We got whatever that is. And we have this is the end point. 
So we have two choices. Oh, oh yeah, we have two choices. Let's figure out what this is first, I guess. Yeah, they probably do. I mean, they're probably used to it. Glyph, okay. Sure. The panel controls a heavy door leading to the treasure room, beyond which is filled with filled with cognition. Uh, if we can work, if we can work out the right commands, then we can reap the rewards from within. Wow, that was the hardest I've ever had <laughs> had reading that. Okay. Um. So, should I not do this first? I feel like maybe later, maybe I'll get clues to know which one's the right one, or should I just guess? Well, I'm just gonna guess. Let's go with the left one, because that's how we do things here. It's more symmetrical as well. Oh, we got some black stuff. Container of some, uh, yeah, yeah. Works for me. All right, we're gonna go this way so we can get to this other glyph. Opportunity is detected. Necron combat tactics, weaponry, capabilities eliminated. Study of required. The chamber shows signs of having been the scene of a brutal gunfight. Two Skatari lie dead with marks from ga uh, Gauss blasts all over the walls. Do we expropriate? Salvage what gear we can from the dead? Do we eulogize? Say a prayer for the fallen Skatari. Skatari are our troops, I believe. Uh, the cult mechanicus exhorts its shoulders to memorialize their losses. We've been using the Skatari as scouts for things. Uh, do we examine the chamber for data on the combat that took place here? I mean, I kind of want to salvage the gear. I also kind of want to examine. But examine, to me, kind of feels like we're going to stick around and fight whatever killed them in the first place. <laughs> so... Hmm... No, let's examine. Let's go. Let's do it. Necron's mere automata equals false. Analysis. Uh, Necron combat capability is greater than or equal to uh, trained human troops. Uh, shame, live fire combat exercise is impossible. Must remain a dream. Okay, fair enough. We got two CP. Cool. This awake level is kind of concerning. I don't really know what that means, but I guess I'm just gonna keep going. There's a glyph. I have no idea if there's more on this game. Okay, so now we're at level one awakening. Necrons are awakening in response to our presence within two. As you travel through each tomb, defense systems will start activating. This increases the difficulty of the mission. The longer you spend in the tomb, the harder the mission becomes. Fair enough. Makes sense. Where the depths of the tomb isn't without reward, there are unknown amounts of lost knowledge to be found for those willing to dig deep. Cliff. Uh, panel controls heavy door. So these are the same ones. Last time we did this one, and we were rewarded with blackstone. So should I just do the same one? Me. So at this point, we're at level one, awake level. We can go back to get here. That'll be one, two. And then come back to the main thing, but then I'll be level two when we get to the boss or whatever this is. So I don't know. Cause I kinda wanna I don't actually know like if we get EXP or whatever. It does say that if we explore more we get more rewards, which makes sense, but I don't know what those rewards are exactly. So we're just gonna rush this one. We'll go right to the end here, see what's going on. I don't know. They just tell me that that's like the main objective room. So who knows. Okay, I believe these guys 
spawn enemies potentially. But we have two Necron Warriors. Um, these guys have range, so I might want to just stick around down here and then have them come to me to to this area because I also have range. So once I they get into range, I can start blasting them. Uh, there is a guy there, though. Okay. The two servitors behind, just in case, uh, oh. But one servitor behind, just in case, uh, we got spawns from the other sides, and then... We can get with this cognition point, and I think that'll be good. Damn, okay. Uh, let's do that. That's pretty good. <laughs> 75 Blackstone is not no, nothing to sneeze at. All right. So that's that. We're at a, we don't have any CP, so we can't move any further. What are, what are the range on these guys? I wish I knew. Okay. Again, these are these guys are cannon fodder. We saw that they cost zero blackstone to us, so I, I guess I really don't care if they die or not. Um, when they get hit, I get co cognitive points, which are movement and whatnot. So it's in our best interest to just let them die. Again, I'm just gonna leave these guys around here. No, oh, let's let's test to see if they can get cognitive points. They cannot. Okay. Good to know. Okay, they have a pretty big range. One, what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven range. Uh, I gave Jeremiah the range upgrade. So. I'm just gonna stick around here, I guess. Oh. The wake level goes up while I'm here. <laughs> That's not particularly good. I'm gonna keep one servitor around. Nail it. We did question mark damage. Good job. Alright, so he should be able to get a shot in on these guys. Move him over. Okay, because our gun actually shows stats, now we know how much health he has left. And apparently he's very strong. Okay, well, that kind of sucks. I should... Okay, that's fine. I was gonna say, I should have moved him because he might get hurt. That's cool. Yeah, give me all that cognition. Alright, servitor friend, get over there. You are not in range. So you're just gonna be fodder. Oh, nice opportunity. So when when they move out of their square and I'm in melee range, um, I get an opportunity attack. So that's nice. I'm going to use a cognitive point to get into melee range to kill this guy. I 
That was a mistake. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, that's bad. Oh, that's very bad. Okay. Huh. All right, we'll put our servitor down here. I want to kill these guys first. So let's see. I think I can do enough damage to these guys. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I just gave up a turn. Oh, that was not very good. Uh, I, I need, I need meat shields over here, please. That's fine. Thank you, Meat Shield. I'm very glad I'm not getting acid on our Magos. Please die. If I had attacked last turn, he would have died there. That's really unfortunate. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this is not good. Why? No. Why do you all have opportunity on me? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> this is terrible. Okay. Uh. Sucks. I will delay my turn. Oh, it's already the end. I cannot delay my turn. Um, all weapons have sacred machine spirits with them. The more you use a weapon, the more charged it becomes. When a machine spirit is charged, you'll gain a buff. Oh, interesting. Each weapon machine spirit will charge at a different rate. Okay, it's shown under the weapons icon. So we killed the scarab at least. And now I can move without getting hurt. I can attack again. Please die. Two. No. <laughs> okay, this man needs to die. Good. So he's not dead yet. I still have to attack him again. But I, I can't do that because I can only do one melee attack. But we were able to get that going, so that's good. Move him back. Thank you, Meat Shield. Acid. Lame. What? That is some range, friend. Oh no. Oh, thank goodness for opportunity attacks. <laughs> Do we need the
Okay, this guy goes later. This guy goes later, so I'm going to use my servitor to kill him. I have so much health. I'm glad we can attack more than once per turn. Because... <laughs> We'd be in some major trouble otherwise. I can't leave now because he's looking at me. We can kill him this turn though. As long as we get lucky. Oh no, we, we can't lose. Three to five. Look at that. Actually he had a shield so... Maybe we could have lost, but we did it. So we've killed all the scarabs. We just have this guy left. Um, that's good. Here, please destroy this guy, my friend. Then please be my neat shield. I probably should not have been here. I probably should have moved back a little bit more. It's just so it would force them to move a little bit more. That's fine. Okay, I'm going to use my servitor to do the final blow on this guy, I hope. Um, I'm playing as Minarius, so I don't have the range on this, I think. No, I do. Do a lot of damage. Okay, he doesn't have shields, it looks like. That's good. I will see if we can kill him this round. Oh, nice. I forgot. We got a condition for doing this. So, I just need to do one more attack on him, hopefully, and he will die. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, because I'm next to him. I got more condition. Oh, no. He's dead. I did, I did five damage, didn't I? Okay, that works. <laughs> I'll take it. Okay. Circumstances of evaluation. Confirmed disappointing. Necrons employ teleportation te technology to achieve post-destruction disc corporation. Where did the remains go? Upon destruction, the Necron unit construct constructs vanish, leaving no samples to be collected. If we archive them, uh, which means take pick wraps of the damage from the Necron weapons, uh, do we move on, hoping the next combat will be yield usable samples, or do we thoroughly search the chamber by any components um, that may be a miss? I mean, technically, can't we just analyze and then archive if we find nothing else? Why do I have to choose between one of these two? So I'm thinking this is the safe choice. This is the let's keep going choice. And then this is the risk it for the biscuit choice. Um, I'm going to go risk it, hopefully, and see if we get something. I don't want to keep going because we're kind of low and I'm a little scared. That combat was a little harder than I was hoping, <laughs> considering. Um, and I don't know, I don't really want this awake level to go very much higher, so let's analyze. The cohort is slowed down by the search, giving the enemy the chance to respond to the location. However, they uncover several samples of technology of uncertain purpose that might contain valuable materials. So our awakening increased by one, which sucks, but we got a Sanctus Canister. Units gain plus two damage, plus three to movement, and plus ten critical chance. Until its next, next base attack. That seems pretty good. And okay, so mission complete. We just end the mission here, it looks like. Oh, 
Lord returns from the tomb, frustrated by the lack of physical samples from of Necron constructs. However, the data they have gathered on the phasing out of Necron remains it is illuminating in itself. And I got two achievements. I got no aid from the Omnisaya, and this is only the beginning. Alright. Valuable data present is better than the past. Sure. Uh, totality of human knowledge increase. Mission conclu conclusion is positive. I cannot say I support your conclusion, Scabola. Beneficial conclude. Again, if you ever wonder what I'm saying when I'm, my GPU is dying, if you look at the the artifact um, effect that's going on occasionally here, that's what it looks like on my screen. <laughs> um, like that. That happened. Beneficial conclusion, itemization follows. Necron, the scorpion witness, enemy constructs destroyed is less than zero. Uh, Necron combat forms evaluated. Contains of functioning Necron available for dissection increased. Explosion cores are returning sensation, frustration, and resentment, and I choose to acknowledge them. The lives of my tech priests are not here to be risked for the fulfillment of your desires, tech acquisitor. They are there to be risked for the acquisition of intelligence, learning, sacred knowledge. Your understanding is approvable. Wait, what? Oh, okay, never mind. I was like, I got minus points for my, my troops. I'm guessing I paid 40 Blackstone to heal, which means that this whole thing was not very good. <laughs> it's 10 Blackstone for every damage I take. That sucks a lot. Um, but we did get Blackstone for killing these guys, so that kind of evened out one of them, I suppose. And then we have the, the blackstone we found for the mission. Uh, we did get the macro stubber and the claw to heal, so that's good. And that'll save us blackstone in the future, it looks like. It counts my mouse clicks? That's <laughs> that's interesting. Okay. Lost 30 units, we took 32 damage, we dealt 40 damage, and we did 14 attacks. And it also takes time. That's interesting. That's pretty cool. It's a little nerve wracking that it keeps track of my mouse clicks and then the, the time like that, but I guess we'll take it. Yeah, they need a new GPU, obviously. It's not an RDS, right? You don't need to know my APM. Alright, we got complete one mission without using a canical. I didn't have a canical, so I guess, you know, <laughs> uh, this one's inevitable, I think. Or if I did have, uh, have a canical, I just did not realize it. Next physical attack will deal plus three physical damage. Hey, that's pretty good. That can assure the the death of one thing, hopefully. Yeah, so this is exactly like StarCraft, where like you can choose one pathway and it'll keep on going, but then the old pathway stays. That's that's interesting. Um, and then you have to balance it because you can't do every mission, presumably, because of this awakening progress. Um, but very, very cool. Go to our cohort. Uh, we have more Blackstone, so we could potentially upgrade our weapons. We also have the support stuff. So... Who is my bruiser? Minarius does the damage, I think, so I want him to have the healing. I need more augment slots. How do I get more augment slots again? <laughs> oh. Exploration head augment, exploration torso augment. I'm guessing you can get multiple head stuff. But they, there's different slots because why would you choose the head augment when you can get the torso augment and get plus one more, right? Uh, like augment gives 
plus HP and movement. I think movement is very important. Uh, armor is actually really good too. Let me get the torso augments. And that'll cost me 134. Fine. Now I think I can use this. Yep. Oh. <laughs> I paid good money for this, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take it. Okay, we got Jeremiah. Great you, friend. And okay, you got energy armor, HP, energy armor, damage. Energy damage is kinda uh Kind of tempting because on this guy I have extra range, so presumably I, he shouldn't really be attacked very often, um, which means that the armor wouldn't be as useful. And you know, getting more damage out is always helpful. So I think I'm going to commit to that. Now, hey, it does more damage. Um, unfortunately. I guess I won't be able to use these things for a while, so I don't know. I don't have any more black stone to get more stuff. It's tech stuff. This list of tech collected so far, you can buy tech such as weapons or items uh, on missions as a reward. Okay. Got some weapon blueprints. Standard template constructs. Okay. Uh, backpack slots. Three versions of each item. Okay. I'm guessing that goes down, potentially. Ship upgrades. Oh man. It seems like there's a lot of things that you can you can go for, and this gets pretty deep. So that's pretty cool. I, I can appreciate that. It does make me question how long this game is. <laughs> it does seem like it's going to be a very long game, which is very good, but uh, we'll see. Uh, let's see. Canicles of Amensai prayers. Yep. Okay, that's cool. They they show you what you need uh, for each canicle. So these are like objectives that you can go for. Um, outside of the main thing. So that, I like that. That's pretty cool. Um, I guess we can attempt to use Cant of the Craft. Don't use Canicles. Even because I don't really know how yet. But, alright. So let's... These are both easy. We have extra things here. Or five damage. That seems real good. Okay. Let's go. We're going to do work to the enemy because I want this extra corruption gauge or er, cognition gauge. Excuse me. Skatari in the tomb of Acropis have encountered a destroyer form of a uh, destroyer form of Necron that uses anti gravitational technology. Tech Inquisitor Skibola has requested a cohort and gauge engage uh, Necron destroyers so this technology can be studied. Fair enough. We'll get both of our tech priests and a lot of servitors. Go. Okay. Words received from Subdomina Kepra. Synopsis follows. Heavy resistance, minimal gains, mounting casualties. Confirm, yes or no? Correct. Yes. <laughs> there have been setbacks. Our troops have encountered a new Necron Warform. Reaction equals delight. Pray, Tech Inquisitor, explain. Enemy Warform, Provision Indemnization, Destroyer, Anti-Grav Technology Confirmed, Explore to Request, File Access, Anti-Gravitational Technology is an area of Stitches the 8th, Magoses have requested as a, what? <laughs> why, why is the apostrophe there? 
uh, cities of the Eighth Bagos have requested as high priority. Study of provisional designation destroyer, desirable plus necessary plus sacred duty. And you would be famed throughout cities a the Eighth for exploiting this technology. Statement agreement. Uh, commence deployment immediately. All right, let's go. 